Thank you for visiting Stacy Jensen Photography and today's tutorial is on how to find your Adobe files for the action installation for elements. So you need to open up your computer and um, find your hard drive. So mine is labeled C and yours can be labeled uh, um, another letter but make sure that it's your root directory. So here's your hard drive and here are the contents of it. It is important that you locate the program data folder. If this folder is not visible to you, um, I will show you the steps to take to make it visible. You will not be using your program's file folder. So if you cannot see your program's data folder, you need to go to your control panel and you need to go to folder options. When you go to folder options, you'll click on the view tab and you need to choose show hidden files, folders, and drives right here. This is important. Click this radio button if it's not already done and click OK. And you can close out your control panel. You're all finished. Come back here. You may need to refresh it. I right click on my mouse and click refresh but if it's already there, great. So now you need to go into program data. You need to find Adobe. You'll need to find elements and the number 10. Oh, this number will be different if you have a different version of elements, that's fine. Choose the number version that you have. Double click on it. You need to delete this thumb database.db3. Delete it, it's okay to delete it. Once you delete it, it, your computer is going to make a new one the very next time you open Elements. Do not be upset if this file comes back. It's supposed to come back. But we want it to go away until we open Elements so that we force Elements to make a new file. That is not done. You need to come into Locale, EN underscore US, and you need to delete Media database.db3. Again, this file is going to come back. That's okay. You need to delete it for the installation. So delete it, come back, and now you're ready to put your files that you purchased into one of the other directories. I must tell you to please unzip the folder that you received from me and add in your ATN files and the PNG files only. Don't put the licensing agreement or any other files into this folder. So you need to unzip the um, action set that you purchased. Once you unzip it, remember where you put it and go in and copy. So you're going to select all of the files and I'm going to show you how I do that. come in and select all of the files that you're working with. So if you purchased the mahogany set, for example, you're gonna get a lot of different files. Once you've unzipped them, you will select all the files that you need, such as this, and I'm not gonna go through them all, but select all the files that are in your directory and then you need to copy them, okay? Once you've copied them, you're gonna go into Photo Creations, Photo Effects, and you're going to paste them. So I could paste them now. I'm not going to do that because I don't wanna change my Elements folder, but that is how you'll do it. Copy all of the, fo the files that you received from me, ATN and PNG files, and paste them back into your elements um, photo effect folder. Do not delete what's already in here because you will be deleting your other actions. Just paste them into this section and you will have more. Thank you for visiting. Now you, I will mention, now you need to go into elements and open up the program. 
when you open up the program, it's going to take a long time your first time because it's making those database files that you deleted. That's okay. It could take even 10 minutes. Just be patient, open it up, and you'll, you'll be ready to go. Thank you.